Not try this at home, kids. <laughs> Dangerous me with these. Me with tools. Yes. That's the ticket. So what? A coffee machine? Yeah. Okay. Coffee machine. <laughs> Should only really be it. What? 32? Oh, I always put 32 in. Dave's brought this in this morning. Customer were complaining that it feels like it's juddering at high speed. And I've just taken it up motorway for a blast and slight little bit but it feels like it's running on concrete got back got the tire pressure gauge on it and um, it's got more or less 36 psi in each tire and they're only rated for 32 to 33 psi max on these and that was all round as well so there's no wonder it felt like it was rock art so i was going to take it for a quick run just to see if that's cured it but yeah hopefully it's a simple fix for that one Double click for the bonnet. Come on. Go on, open it. Come on. Over. <laughs> now let's uh, let's not try that. Uh, let's uh, let's let's James have a look first. Yeah, that uh, Cougar's sorted. Thing is, when tyres are rock hard, so you've got more PSI in them than you need. It's sending all that vibration back through the cabin and through the steering wheel, because it all comes up through your steering and suspension components, so no wonder it could feel that judder, especially if you're going over bad roads like we've got at the moment. So, just took it down to 31, 32 on most of the tyres. Uh, 31 at back, 32 at front. Absolutely spot on. So, just go show sometimes, simple solution. Um, but I didn't think there'd be anything up with that car to be fair. Now we have a new toy to play with. It's broken, that's what it is. We just had a chat the other day saying it'd be now obviously we're doing more in the showroom, customers coming over to view cars. Give it that more professional main dealer sort of feeling. Yeah? Oh yeah. Look at that. that eBay that. That's off eBay. 200 quid. Let's go in there and find somewhere to put it. Oh. Two bag. Let's go over. No, I don't want that. Two. Press and hold for the so. Oh, it splashes a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Job foot cleaning lady, she does it. Just saying. Just <coughs> another one. Uh, Day cap. You know, last week, mm. feeling on top of the world, you know, we were flipping, we were selling, we were busy, busy, busy. Yeah. And then Saturday, we took that I-10 in on... Friday. Friday. It? Yeah. Got it advertised on the Saturday. You put the advert up, what, one o'clock? One o'clock. It was like half one day around me. And they went, I've been looking for an I-10 for ages. Can I have that? I want to put a deposit down. So it had been advertised for half an hour and we took a deposit on the I-10, which was, you know... Insane, wasn't it? Brilliant. It was like... Like, but since Saturday, since that sale, we've done nothing. No. <laughs> it's, it's been just... so dead it's... this week. I've had, to check yeah. whether, I've had to check whether the phone's connected. It's so annoying. That's what's so annoying about this job, is that it is a feast and it's a famine. 
when you're flying, you feel great. And now it's going back to. But it'll come yeah. back. It'll come, we've got oh. a week left of the month. I'm sure we'll get. And weather doesn't help. No. And also, when you're feeling like this, this is when the bollocks happens. So the flipping eco sport we saw like. Was no, it e September. Eco boost. Sorry, eco boost. Yeah. yeah. Forward focus, eco boost. Yeah. A few weeks ago on the videos I've done about how the customer um, was trying to claim for the engine, but it was it was like two weeks out of warranty. Two weeks out of warranty, but he'd done a thousand miles. And he'd given over. the wrong date to close brothers, hadn't he? And he'd give the wrong date, yeah, he was lying yeah. about the date. And also our warranty says it's either three months or three thousand miles, whichever comes sooner. And he'd done four thousand miles. So in my head, I thought, oh great stuff. Yeah. You know, we're not going to have to pay out all this. We're not going to have to buy the car back. But because he got it on finance, a customer's got six months. Um, well, basically, what we found out from these emails from Close Brothers. So the, basically, if a customer has got a car on finance, within six months, if it something goes wrong or it buggers up, they can get a, uh, an ACE report, it's called. Yeah. So a mechanical, a bit like an AA report. Full, full comprehensive mechanical That's check. That's it. Into, That's yeah. it. So the ACE mechanic has went out and he said in the report that he believes that the, the, um, the fault was not present, but it was beginning to... Beginning to, to, be, to become word. become evident. Yeah, become I mean, that's how to describe it, yeah, isn't yeah. it? May, be, may have been evident at the point of saying... Yeah, it may have. Evident. So because he thinks that the timing belt at the point of sale was already, I don't know, coming apart or showing wear, wear and tear, Yeah, they've said that we've got to give the customer his money back, which is like an absolute kick in the teeth. So then I was like, well, he's done 4,000 miles. So we'll deduct, I think it's like 35p a mile is, is what it normally is for, you, for 40, usage. 45p, I thought it was. Is it? Something like something that. Something yeah. like that. So it's then, fair usage, isn't it? Fair like, usage, yeah. yeah. So then I said to the rep, Ben, I was like, oh, well, look, all right, okay, we'll buy it back, but we'll just minus the usage. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you can't do that. It has to be the payments. It's got to be the payments. Or so, so if it's more, he's done more mileage, it's for every thousand miles. Yeah. Counts as a payment. Well, he only took four grand on finance. So I think his payments were 120 quid and it's 4,000 miles. So it's 480 quid. So we've got to give him his money back minus 480, 480 quid. quid. Which is basically retail value of that car isn't it more or less probably now yeah yeah because he's put the mileage on and it's a bit older and we've got to put an engine in the car yeah fucking yeah. eco boost <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. we never and then everyone's gonna go oh don't buy eco this was months ago this was this september was this was we bought that car back in like what july or something yeah yeah, and yeah sold yeah. in september yeah and this has been this is one of the ones that's made us go never again Never ever again. Have been, but yeah, but even with that, like you, you take a risk on it, thinking it's a nice example. It's got all the service history. You think it's been well cared. Oh yeah, the, the woman can still bite you. The, on the woman house. lived down the road, and she's like, "I've serviced it every year, and it's been such a good car." And I'm like, "Oh god, it, you know, they all can't be shit." But they <laughs> yeah, are. They are. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Utter, utter horseshit. Yeah, yeah, they are. So, so the mood at the minute today, it's raining, and now I've got through gritted teeth, I've got to say to Close Brothers because I was like, What's the other option? And Ben's like, They'll send it to auction, and then you've got to give the finance company back the money minus what. Uh, so, at auction, it might fetch a grand if that. Yeah. So then I'd have to give them back, I don't know, three, three and a half, I think it was five grand or so that you put thousand. So we'd have to give them four thousand, uh, so five thousand minus the grand at the auction. So we'd we have to give them four grand. So, so we just, just lost money. Yeah, it? so we're yeah. going to have to buy it back, sort the engine out, and then retail out of it again. Yeah. But the good thing is, looking at, you know, silver lining, 
it is a cheap forward focus. If we put a decent engine in, we can promote that. Yeah, and we should sell it. This is the, this is the thing. I think if people know the EcoBoost, signs of having the new engine is probably the better thing because then there's yeah. not all that. Yeah, has yeah. someone used the correct oil? Has it been serviced regularly? That's it. You can go, well, it's brand new. First service we did was when it was put in the car. We know what's been done yeah, to it. You just it. need to. And I'm going to go that there's a place in Leeds where they've done one for me before. And I'm, I'm just going to go to that. I'm not putting no second hand engine in. No, let's not just get it done it. properly. Let's just get a, a, a proper engine, brand new. Yeah. Stick it in, get it gone. That's it. And it's just out of lives then. Yeah, it? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. So, it's so fucking annoying though. It is, isn't Especially it? considering that it's kind of been quiet for the last couple of weeks on that as well, hasn't it? Yeah, since I thought, we, I thought since that's since it. We're we, not going to hear anything Yeah, now. and then this is all just gone. And, yeah. well, it, this and that, that's another thing what's annoying is that it, the customer was lying, you know. I said to Ben, but bloody hell, he was like telling porkies about... The data. You know, he telling, and then Ben went, oh, well, that means that if he was being truthful, it had buggered up even sooner so you'd have less of a leg to stand on because he said that it buggered up in the december yeah but it, did, but it didn't do did it that's the thing it's still buggered up but it's still like i know but but, but we we've we're doing the right thing yeah, it's yeah. so annoying when someone's done that behind your back to try and get more out of you if you yeah. know what i mean to lie yeah, and we yeah. can't we can't do anything about it yeah. because legally his, his hands are just tied aren't they that's yeah, it that's it that's yeah. it and it it, it Boils down to customers have got a lot more rights if they bought a car on finance as well. Yeah. Which so, is, cause we can go to the FCA, because this is something to do with the FCA as well. Yeah. Um, it's it's about just being about just being clued up on yeah. what what all of that is. Because the training standards exist, doesn't it? But then this FCA is like double protection almost yeah. in a way. And, and the good thing, it is a five grand is a lot of money, but it hasn't been a 20 grand no, imagine if it was bmw yeah you know so we'll just we'll take the hit and then we'll just just get it out of our lives move on get on some sales that's yeah. it yeah yeah that's it So, uh, I was optimistic last week that we could potentially get to 25 by the end of this month. That was before everything went quiet, like we said earlier. So, and we've still got three that are left to go out that are on the board at the moment. So, if each of those go, that'll take us up to 16. Then we need four more just to hit the 20 that we want as a minimum every month anyway. What's the date today? It's the 22nd of February. So we've got an extra day this year because it's a leap year, isn't it? So it's 29th for next Friday. Uh, 20, next, 29th next Thursday, sorry. First next Friday. So we've got a week left. Four more cars, potentially even four more and a few more. Mm, that should see us through, I think. We had such a good run last couple of weeks and we've been up and we've been feeling so good about it. And it's just gone quiet. I don't know what it's like for other people out there, but definitely this last week it's been a bit more dead for us. I mean, we've not. I'm just going to have a quick look on Auto Trader. Besides one inquiry, one online inquiry at 10:45 today, the phone has not rung once. Everything else on there is from yesterday. Three calls, and one of those was a finance company trying to sell us something. But Fingers crossed, it'll pick up, and then this time next week, we'll hopefully see at least at the bottom of there. So changing those expectations a little bit, but we can still get a good month out of it this month, and roll on, and have a good month, month in March. It's just... Oh, the fucking ring. Come on, come on. <laughs> Buy some cars, people. <laughs>